25th, 1954, an important year in the automotive industry. Chrysler Corporation announced the development and successful road testing of the first American-built gas turbine engine in a production line automobile. This engine was a milestone in automotive power engineering. The key was the development of a rotary heat exchanger, which converted exhaust heat into a strong power boost with fuel economy. These tests were run in a 1954 production model Plymouth. They were the beginning of thousands of miles of road testing and resulted in a major breakthrough in turbine power. In 1955, the same basic engine was traffic tested on the streets of Detroit. By 1956, Engineers had set the stage for a major test, the first turbine-powered transcontinental run from New York to Los Angeles. A turbine-powered sedan made the historic 3,020-mile trip subject to constant evaluation of the engine's durability, acceleration, economy, endurance, and operation under various climatic conditions. The engine performed beautifully, and four days later, the test car rolled into Los Angeles. Guided by the performance data and experience obtained on the coast-to-coast -coast run, Chrysler Engineering spent the following two years designing and developing a new, more advanced turbine engine. In December 1958, after thorough laboratory testing, this second-generation turbine engine made a 576-mile run from Detroit to New York in a test to verify the effects of the newly developed variable nozzle principle on economy and control. On this trip, the 1958 version showed that burner efficiency was improved almost to the point of ideal combustion removing one of the most formidable remaining hurdles to successful automotive application. In the following months, another obstacle was eliminated when, through Chrysler metallurgical research, new materials were developed which contained plentiful and relatively inexpensive elements that could be made by conventional methods and still have excellent resistance to heat and oxidation even at extreme temperatures. By December 1961, after more months of patient development, an improved third-generation turbine power plant, the CR2A, was installed in a 1962 production line model, which made another four-day cross-country trip. It encountered sub-zero weather with snowstorms and freezing rain, as well as scorching heat, at times bucking up to 40-mile-an-hour headwinds. The turbine lived up to and exceeded all expectations. Its fuel economy was consistently comparable with that of piston cars, which made the same trip. The culmination of this sustained and dedicated effort was Chrysler Corporation's announcement in 1962 that the company planned to build 50 turbine-powered passenger cars for release to selected users. This was to be done to obtain concrete evidence concerning public acceptance of this revolutionary type of automotive power plant. five-mile test oval at the Chrysler Proving Grounds. The event, performance checks of the production model gas turbine car. This was the culmination of tens of thousands of miles in road experience and improved design, resulting in a gas turbine engine specifically adapted to the exacting requirements of today's motorists. These were the trials before this new car was released for limited evaluation by selected users.
miles an hour and running steady in a smooth, vibrationless, trouble-free ride, passing rugged endurance and power requirements with ease. But the turbine car is not a special car designed for limited types of performance. This is a car for people, for doctors, housewives, school teachers, average people with average as well as extreme driving requirements. This is a thoroughly tested, thoroughly practical car to meet modern driving needs. Here is a car with power engineered for safe and ready acceleration when needed on the highway. The now perfected heat exchanger ensures excellent efficiency from the engine and a cool, clean exhaust even at sustained high-speed driving. Now, on to the twisting, torturous side roads at the proving ground. Roads scientifically planned to tax the strength, maneuverability and control of any car. powered automobile passed these grueling tests. Here is a car designed for easy maintenance, free of periodic oil changes and seasonal tune-ups. Here is full power potential for instant acceleration and outstanding climbing ability. Through the action of the variable nozzles, the driver is assured the same control he can get in the best conventional passenger car, even on the steepest grades. Here, indeed, is an engineering breakthrough worthy of the painstaking experimentation, constant testing, designing, and redesigning that went into it. The light, compact, reliable, easy to maintain, economical to operate, Chrysler Automotive Gas Turbine Engine. Now, the first 50 production model turbine-powered automobiles are being released to selected but typical motorists who will drive them under a wide variety of conditions. The motoring requirements of these drivers will vary across a broad spectrum. The tremendous potential of the turbine to satisfy power plant needs for propelling automobiles more smoothly and dependably than ever before opens the possibility of an exciting new chapter in the history of motoring and gives the automobile a running start in the jet age.